This is the Bythonic Accountant, and today we're going to explore some of the plugins for ChatGPT. So first off, in order to have access to the plugins, you need to have the paid model, which is 20 bucks a month and gives you access to GPT-4 and gives you uh, faster, um, always access to 3.5. But within GPT-4, there's three different ways that you can access it, at least uh, for, for me. I'm waiting to get access to the additional code interpreter, which is going to be really awesome. But for now, I've got default browsing with Bing, which is kind of like using the Bing AI, and then plugins, which is really fun. So in plugins, there's a whole bunch of them. There's a plugin store that you can explore the most popular plugins, as well as just going to all the plugins. Um, this is just the most pop couple pages of the most popular ones. Um, so we're going to look at these from the lens of accounting, and um, today we're actually going to start with one called ABC Mouse, which provides fun and educational learning activities for children two to eight years old. Let's see if we can get ChatGPT with ABC Mouse to teach us about accounting or maybe teach us about writing Python code for accounting. So let's start with uh, use ABC Mouse uh, to create a few fun games to teach accounting concepts to a, say, middle schooler, see what it does. And now it should invoke, oh, no, doesn't like that. I guess I'll start with age eight. Oh, interesting. Is it still going to give it to me? <laughs> nope. It's going to defer. It's going to say, I'm sorry. I'm not going to give that to you. Let's try it again. And I'll say, uh, I want to learn accounting for an eight year old. Concept to an eight year old. Okay. Give me some accounting concepts for an eight year old. All right, perfect. I have invoked ABC Mouse. And you can click on that to see what did it send it to see what's it actually asking. Search term money. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's see. You can do show what you know patterns. Well, interesting. Okay, repeating patterns of objects is fundamental in accounting. I guess I could see that. Crazy race, odd and even numbers. It's a game that helps students differentiate between even and odd. <laughs> I guess that's an important concept for accounting. Build it, matching, adding three numbers. Adding is important. Addition and subtraction. Okay, I see what you're doing here. You're taking some of the really foundational, basic concepts of accounting. Um, okay, I see where you're going here. Let's let's do a new one. Um, that's cute though. So let's uh, let's see. I'm gonna do a new chat GPT-4, and let's do plugins again. But we're gonna try a different plugin. We're gonna try. Uh, let's see, Scholar AI. Is that gonna give us a little bit more? No, scientific research is not. Oh, show me. Yeah, I think you're gonna like this one, guys. So show me is one that you can use to create uh, a diagram. So um, let's let's ask for it to create a diagram for writing a Python program to download a PDF file and extract accounting data. Write a diagram to show uh, high level uh, sections of a Python program that can Download and accounting related PDF file. Parse it. Turn it into a data frame, and then have the user review the outputs. Sure, why not? This is just kind of a cool way to show that the results don't have to be just text. Like they can also be visual, which this is going to show you a visual uh, version. So here's a high-level diagram. A Python program that downloads an accounting related PDF, turns into a data frame, allows the user to review the outputs. Okay. All right, this is this is boring. So <laughs> I was hoping it would give me a little more complexity here, but it just says Python program, download PDF, parse PDF, create data frame, review outputs. So let's see if I can get it to make it more interesting. I'm going to say, okay, that was boring. I want a bunch of odd edge cases in and a few options for where it can flow on errors, types of PDF files, um, 
uh, um, uh, let's see, data that's uh, useful. Let's try it out. <laughs> let's see what it comes up with. But I'm hoping it's going to tap into its creativity and uh, give us a more interesting process flow here. So let's see what it can do. Combination of the GPT-4's capabilities plus the uh, Show Me plugin. Here's a more detailed diagram of a Python program. Let's see what it does. Ah, this is much more interesting. Not perfect, but um, better. Python program, download PDF. If it's an error, it can handle download error. Different PDF types, handle different PDF types. All right, then parse the PDF. If there's an error, handle it. If there's unuseful data, handle it. Create a data frame. Okay, so it's, you know, it's adding a little bit of interesting. It's not showing how it's going to handle those errors, but at least it's capturing the fact that there could be errors along the way handling them. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, I think I'm going to end the video for this one. Um, really just wanted to show you some of these plugins. And just, just so you know, I have not been very impressed with most of the plugins so far. Just like this one, it's like interesting, but not mind blowing. Um, but I am going to continue to explore these, so follow along and uh, subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with the different analyses of uh, these plugins. We'll see you at the next one.